Friday, Wikipedia Audio Friday is the day after Thursday and the day before Saturday. In countries adopting Monday first conventions as recommended by the International Standard ISO 8601, it is the fifth day of the week. In countries that adopt a Sunday first convention, it is the sixth day of the week. In some other countries, for example Saudi Arabia and the Maldives, Friday is the first day of the weekend, with Saturday the second. In Afghanistan Friday is the last day of the weekend, with Saturday as the first day of the working week. Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait also followed this convention until they changed to a Friday-Saturday weekend, on September 1st. 2006 in Bahrain and the UAE, and a year later in Kuwait. In Iran, Friday is the only weekend day. The name Friday comes from the Old English Frigida Egg, meaning the day of Frigge, a result of an old convention associating the Old English goddess Frigg with the Roman goddess Venus, with whom the day is associated in many different cultures. The same holds for Freitag in Old High German, Freitag in Modern German, and Vrijdag in Dutch. The expected cognate name in Old Norse would be asterisk Frigjardagr. However, the name of Friday in Old Norse is Frigjardagr instead, indicating a loan of the weekday names from Low German. The modern Scandinavian form is Fridag in Swedish, Norwegian, and Danish meaning Freya's day. The distinction between Freya and Frigg in some Germanic mythologies is contested. Etymology The word for Friday in most Romance languages is derived from Latin dies Veneris or Day of Venus, such as Vendredi in French, De Vendras in Catalan, Veneri in Corsican, Venerdi in Italian, Vineri in Romanian, and Virns in Spanish and influencing the Filipino Byrns or Bjerns. This is also reflected in the P Celtic Welsh language as Gwiner. An exception is Portuguese, also a Romance language, which uses the word sextafira, meaning sixth day of liturgical celebration, derived from the Latin feria sexta used in religious texts where it was not allowed to consecrate days to pagan gods. In Sardinian, the word chinapura also figures as an exception among all the other Romance languages, since it is derived from Latin Sinapura. This name had been given by the Jewish community exiled to the island in order to designate the food specifically prepared for Shabbat Eve. In Arabic, Friday is Al-Jum, ah, from a root meaning congregation slash gathering. In languages of Islamic countries outside the Arab world, the word for Friday is commonly a derivation of this. In modern Greek, four of the words for the weekdays are derived from ordinals. However, the Greek word for Friday is paraskevi and is derived from a word meaning to prepare. Like Saturday and Sunday, Friday is named for its liturgical significance as the day of preparation before Sabbath, which was inherited by Greek Christian Orthodox culture from Jewish practices. Friday was formerly a Christian fast day, this is the origin of the Irish da Hain. Scottish Gaelic Dihoun, Manx Jahini and Icelandic Fostudagur, all meaning fast day. In both Biblical and modern Hebrew, Friday is Yom Shishi meaning the sixth day. In most of the Indian languages, Friday is Shukravara, named for Shukra, the planet Venus. In Bengali, or Shukrabar is the sixth day in the Bengali week of Bengali calendar and is the beginning of the weekend is Bangladesh. In Japanese, is formed from the words, meaning Venus and, meaning day. Folklore
In the Korean language, it is. In Korean Hangul writing, as is pronounced of the written word. In Chinese characters, as in Japanese. In the Nahuatl language, Friday is Quetzalcoatl meaning day of Quetzalcoatl. Most Slavic languages call Friday the fifth, Belarusian, Pietnitsa, Bulgarian, Patuk, Croatian Petuk, Czech Patak, Polish Piatak, Russian, Pietnitsa, Serbian, Petuk, Slovak Piatok, Slovene Petak, and Ukrainian, Pietnitsya. The Hungarian word Pentek is alone from Pannonian dialect of Slavic language. The N in Pentek suggests an early adoption from Slavic, when many Slavic dialects still had nasal vowels. In modern Slavic languages only Polish retained nasal vowels. Friday is considered unlucky in some cultures. This is particularly so in maritime circles. Perhaps the most enduring sailing superstition is that it is unlucky to begin a voyage on a Friday. In the 19th century, Admiral William Henry Smith described Friday in his nautical lexicon the sailor's word book as The dies in Faustus, on which old seamen were desirous of not getting underway, as ill-omened. This superstition is the root of the well-known urban legend of HMS Friday. In modern times, Friday the 13th is considered to be especially unlucky, due to the conjunction of Friday with the unlucky number 13. Such a Friday may be called a Black Friday. In Astrology Religious Observances However, this superstition is not universal, notably in Scottish Gaelic culture. Christianity Hinduism Islam Judaism Thailand Though Friday has always been held an unlucky day in many Christian countries, still in the Hebrides it is supposed that it is a lucky day for sowing the seed. Good Friday in particular is a favorite day for potato planting even strict Roman Catholics make a point of planting a bucket full on that day. Probably the idea is that as the resurrection followed the crucifixion, and burial so too in the case of the seed, and after death will come life. In astrology, Friday is connected with the planet Venus and is symbolized by that planet's symbol. Friday is also associated with the astrological signs Libra and Taurus. In Christianity, Good Friday is the Friday before Easter. It commemorates the crucifixion of Jesus. Named Days Traditionally, Roman Catholics were obliged to refrain from eating the meat of warm-blooded animals on Fridays, although fish was allowed. The filet fish was invented in 1962 by Lou Grone, a McDonald's franchise owner in Cincinnati, Ohio, in response to falling hamburger sales on Fridays resulting from the Roman Catholic practice of abstaining from meat on Fridays. In the present day, Episcopal conferences are now authorized to allow some other form of penance to replace abstinence from meat. The 1983 Code of Canon Law states, Some Anglicans also practice abstinence from meat either on all Fridays or on Fridays in Lent. More generally, traditional Anglican prayer books prescribe weekly Friday abstinence for all Anglicans. The Eastern Orthodox Church continues to observe Fridays as fast days throughout the year. Fasting on Fridays entails abstinence from meat or meat products, poultry, and dairy products. Unless a feast day occurs on a Friday, the Orthodox also abstain from using oil in their cooking and from alcoholic beverages. On particularly important feast days, fish may also be permitted. 
For the Orthodox, Fridays throughout the year commemorate the crucifixion of Christ and the Theotokos, especially as she stood by the foot of the cross. There are hymns in the Octoechos which reflect this liturgically. These include Theotokia which are chanted on Wednesdays and Fridays called Stavra Theotokia. The dismissal at the end of services on Fridays begins with the words, May Christ our true God, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross. Quakers traditionally referred to Friday as Sixth Day, eschewing the pagan origins of the name. In Slavic countries, it is called Fifth Day. In Dravidian folk religion, special observances are practiced for mother goddesses on Friday. In Hinduism Fridays are important for married ladies of Hinduism. They worship God on that day. In Islam, Friday corresponds as a holy day to Sunday in Christianity and Saturday in Judaism and Sabbatarian Christianity. Friday observance includes attendance at a mosque for congregation prayer or Salat al-Jamu'ah. It is considered a day of peace and mercy as well as a day of rest. According to some Islamic traditions, the day is stated to be the original holy day ordained by God, but that now Jews and Christians recognize the days after. In some Islamic countries, the week begins on Sunday and ends on Saturday, just like the Jewish week and the week in some Christian countries. The week begins on Saturday and ends on Friday in most other Islamic countries, such as Saudi Arabia, Somalia, and Iran. Friday is also the day of rest in the Baha'i faith. In some Malaysian states, Friday is the first weekend day, with Saturday the second, to allow Muslims to perform their religious obligations on Friday. Sunday is the first working day of the week for governmental organizations. Jewish Sabbath begins at sunset on Friday and lasts until nightfall on Saturday. There is a Jewish custom to fast on the Friday of the week of Chakot. In Thailand, the color associated with Friday is blue.